There was no denying day one of the first test between India and West Indies at Rajkot belonged to boy wonder Prithvi Shaw, who became the youngest Indian cricketer to score a century on debut as he slammed a 99 ball ton to lead India to 364 for four. After losing five tosses in a row, India's captain Virat Kohli finally won one and opted to bat on a pitch with a fair amount of grass. West Indies struck in the first over with pacer Shinan Gabriel, trapping opener KL Rahul in front with a sharp incoming delivery. The early dismissal of his opening partner did not seem to unfaze Shaw, who scored runs in the brisk pace all round the wicket and dominated a depleted West Indies bowling attack. Shaw was involved in a massive 206 run partnership for the second wicket, with Cheteshwish Pujara as the duo began to toy with the West Indies bowlers who were crumbling under the heat. Shaw brought up his maiden century with his trademark shot through cover to register his debut Test century, the youngest to achieve the feat at 18 years and 329 days. Pujara, meanwhile, missed out on a century at his home ground after poking a length ball half-heartedly only to be caught behind by keeper Shane Dorridge to give debutant Sean Lewis his first test wicket. At the stroke of T, Shaw, brimming in confidence, ended up playing a loose shot which resulted in him simply chipping it back to leg spinner Devendra Bisho. Kohli and Rani then conjured a 105-run partnership with both batsmen leaving the opposition bowling attack in tatters. Kohli, meanwhile, notched his 19th test half-century, while Rahane departed after 41 after cheaply giving away his wicket to off-spinner Roston Chase. Day 1 did not end with drama as two pitch invaders made a dash to the centre to click a selfie with Virat Kohli.